six months ago, this branch was straight. Yes, you hear that right. How did I do that? Six months progression of bending a big pine. Step by step, we'll get you there. Hi, welcome. Have you ever wondered how pines this size get bent? In this video, I'll take this branch, carve this out because that wood breaks before it bends, then wrap it up in raffia and bend this whole trunk all the way around, coming back up here, creating the tree. This is a tension wire and it already is pre-bending this trunk here. This is all going to be dead wood. And in the end, the tree is going to stand on this side compared to the current position. So let me get some carving tools and we'll first create a small channel on the lower side of the dead wood so we can separate it from the living trunk. We made the big cut here that separates the dead wood from the main trunk. Um, I can actually now take this tension wire off and after that I will use pre-soaked raffia which I'm going to put around the living parts. I'll add some more protective raffia here at the back but also a metal sheen and then I'll use a branch bender which you effectively just put on a branch if you want to bend it at a certain position or this branch bender, which is a very slow going branch bender. If you don't have any of these tools, you can also put the wire, loop it around the base of the branch and a connection point. Then you pull the branch in and you tighten the wire. I'll probably use that as well. Um, it's a quite controlled way of working. And as said, in the end, this branch is going to go up along here. So I'm going to make this curve much tighter, probably getting this point all the way there and then back in. This is not going to happen in a couple of minutes. This is a process of hours, if not days, because I want the tree to slowly adjust.
So after a couple of weeks, um, the tension of the wood has let go and you can, as you can tell, quite easily bend the branches further. So I'm just going to do that here. I'm going to take this one, pull it in and try to tighten this up a little bit more. This way, over a period of a couple of weeks or even months, you can completely flatten the curve. I don't really need to do that here because I think the curve is nice and tight already. Uh, maybe a little bit more here. But yeah, this is the way that you can incrementally increase the bends that you have in the branch. All set. Um, now what I want to do, eventually the tree is going to be planted like this. So I've been watering on this side of the pot mostly, but I want a root here to die off. So I'm going to plant it up in this angle already in a pot without disturbing the root ball any more than I need to to get it into the new pot. Let's see. Oh, I've got to stop. That's my alarm. There's a free Brazilian rain tree giveaway right now on YouTube. I'll be right back. Right, where was I? I was going to put this at an angle. Um, I brought some substrate and I brought a brick. Make sure not to break any branches. Um, I want it to get a little bit steeper, but that's difficult. That should do it. That's about the new angle. Now just fill the pot. So, the end of summer. Time to make the final adjustments and then it should be ready to be wired in springtime. In fact, it is bent as far as it goes for now, I think. The branch is curved over almost 180 degrees. So instead of a branch going all the way straight out from the center, I now have a branch that curls back in that I can use for styling in spring. This is as much as I'm going to do this season. I'll look at it again in spring. Maybe in the middle of winter I'll find some time, I'll wire it out, do some work on the deadwood, but for now this pine is done. <laughs> 